Have you ever felt to yourself, man, there's something blocking me? Have you ever felt to yourself, it's like there's a wall between me and where I want to go? That blockage, that wall is what you're experiencing. So when what is the Holy Grail? And where is the Holy Grail? The Holy Grail is inside of you. And I'm sure many of you, if you've watched my past videos, would have already suspected that. The Holy Grail is an activation inside of you that occurs when an alignment happens. And that alignment is an energetic alignment. It's also known as your Christic consciousness, your Christ alignment, your Christ light. When all of your chakras line up in a way that they are all opened, they are all active which is very rare for a human being because what we have surrounding each chakric point is what I want to refer to as a crust I want to refer to it as an overlay now talking about overlays many many videos I speak about the ego and this one is going to be no different because it's important to understand what I've said about the ego and that is the ego starts out as your own wounds, your own traumas, but attaching to those traumas is entities, AI, overlays, anything that the false matrix can use to hook itself into you to keep you in the false matrix, to prevent you from awakening. Those hooks are gathered around the chakric centers. So the chakric centers are energetic alignments wherein your pure consciousness is designed to express itself. You will already know this, I'm sure, that the various chakric centers have various frequencies. And, you know, I don't think we need to be too linear. The base chakra means A, B, C. The crown chakra means X, Y, Z. If you let go of being so definitive about what you think you know and rather just look at the bigger picture, these are simply energetic centers on the body and around these energetic centers, instead of an expression of pure light radiance, there is a crust preventing the pure light radiance to emanate. That crust is where all of those hooks have dug in, the programs, the overlays, the traumas become that encrusted encapsulation that surrounds each chakric center and as we evolve that gets weaker and weaker we dissolve it that crust we dissolve the ego the ego is not who you are it is a sum total of what you are not you are not here to take the ego and tame it because many people are under that impression you are here to dissolve it into the pure light truth of who you are because your decree your mission and your purpose in this life here on planet earth is to dissolve the false matrix into the organic template the organic matrix that restoration process is not something that occurs outside it's something that occurs inside of you now as these chakras open and align because you're dissolving density which you do in two ways number one by connecting to pure God source, to pure light, to let that in. And I want you to really remember what I said in the last video about Christ consciousness being an alignment. And I described that alignment to you in this video. I want you now to begin to apply that understanding. That light incoming begins to melt. That which I'm calling the crust, right? That surrounds, that encapsulates these chakric centers. Have you ever felt to yourself, man, there's something blocking me? Have you ever felt to yourself, it's like there's a wall between me and where I want to go? That blockage, that wall is what you're experiencing when I'm talking about the crust. That's what it feels like. It feels like that frustrating something in the way. It's not the truth of who you are. It's not your nature. It's not your essence. Your essence is open radiance. Your essence is pure light expressing itself without bounds, without inhibition, without limitation, without metering what you say, without monitoring. That is that pure, gorgeous expression of your truth. And I said to you, there were two ways in which that crust is dissolved. So number one, pure light comes in. Number two, you feel the crust or in other words you connect to the trauma that might be sitting there you connect to the misalignment and you allow yourself to feel the misalignment in the presence of pure consciousness so it's absolutely imperative that you feel what might be stuck and sitting there but it's even more imperative that you bring light in as 
you feel it. That's a combination that also melts that crust or dissolves that density. And as that density dissolves, the radiance of that chakric column can begin to radiate out of you. And the chakra column is designed not to be separate centers, separate chakric centers. Because there's that question, isn't it? Well, perhaps the heart chakra is the holy grail. Perhaps I'm going to say it's the pineal gland. Perhaps that is the holy grail. The entire column is the holy grail. Take a step back. Remember, everything makes sense when you take a step back and you zoom out. Have a look in your mind's eye. What would it look like if your whole chakric column was lit up from the base chakra all the way up through you? Can you see that there would be a column of light opening up like a funnel, kind of, or like a glass, kind of, that you would drink out of? The holy grail is exactly that. It is the chakric column reopened, re-energized, realigned with the ego dissolved and the true self navigating, the true self embodying, the true self is the Holy Grail shining through you. It's the elixir of life. It's the healer of all that is unhealed. It's the elixir to your emotions that have been scattered, distorted, confused. It's the remedy to judgment, to pain, to separation, to confusion. Because think of all these chakras in separation from each other. This is not how our energy centers were meant to operate. They are all meant to interconnect and intercommunicate with each other to the point that there is no crust, to the point that there is no encapsulation surrounding these chakric columns, to the point that these chakric columns become one column of light. And this one column of light opens up like a funnel and expands itself to receive pure God source radiance and to let that pure God source radiance in to your being. That's the Holy Grail. Do you have any idea how powerful you are? Do you have any idea? I hope you do. Not here in the head. Information in the head is really just that it's information and it's not really going to change you. Information in the being is. Right? Man, I've got some loud neighbors. So I really do hope that the noise of the neighbors is not being picked up on my mic. But if it is, you know, this is life. At least I could deliver this message to you today with all of my love from my heart to yours. Do look at the playlist Cosmic Origins to go through the rest in this video series. There'll be more coming up next week, Sunday and Wednesday. Be sure to tune in for those lots of love from my heart right into yours. I hope you feel it. Bye bye for now.